ben Daisy. <laughs> en um, ik wil uh, uh, dit kort. Want dit uh, wat langer kan. Ja. Daisy loves short hair. She wants it uh, shorter on the side. Keep the front a little bit longer because uh, it may grow a bit. And can use a lot of techniques on a little rondje draaien. She turns around to show you how her hair is now. And normally she is customer of mine. Thank you all. Hello friends on YouTube. I'm gonna do this young lady's hair. Now she lost uh, really short hair, that's why she's here. Start as always with protection. Give her a nice cape because she lost short hair. I give also a bit boy's cape, a blue one. Call and start with wetting the hair and then start to cut. Mm. And a couple of laying the hair down. Then go in with my scissor. And take some off of the fall of the skull to create my baseline to get into the short lines. Leaving some length so I can use some techniques. And I'm going to use only the clipper for the tattoo line. So I still hold it in the soft lines. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. Yeah, yeah. Now it's so good in English. Can you be good for style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battling with my comb, the hairs. Like I want them to, because when I push them up, I can get them in a real nice length and all the same. So when I leave them hanging down, they are laying not straight into my comb, so I can not get the same length as the rest. Again, guiding the hairs. Make a nice soft side beard. Clean the contour line. Of the overfall, I put a little bit slice techniques. And you get a nice shape. See how the hair falls. Listen to that. Because it's easy to see, but hard to get into your mind that you can go into the flow of the hairs. And when, when you want to color this hair without coloring, you can also take a bit of peroxide 3%, that's 10 volume, put it over the hairs, and especially in summertime, you get a lighter color. Just leave it in, blow dry it, and it lights up the color. Again, an overfall of the hairs on the rounding of the skull. I use some slice techniques and take also the hair above with it. So create it slicing on the length I want. So now this hair is totally done, that side. So we go over to the half head on the back. And just listen to what the hairs tell me to. Dealing with the crowns. Lekker geluidje uit die ventilator. Het wordt steeds mooier. Als ik een podcast moet opnieuw zien te vinden, ik krijg dat geluid niet, niet erbij. Wetting in the between. Now watch 
at the fall of the hairs. They go first in. So I put the comb to the side, pushing the hairs up. Then they go to the outside, so they go to the inside. And then I go over the running. Always go in the opposite lines. And when I come to the fall of the hairs, I start with my slice cut. Take the fine part of my comb, use this only in the underlines. Just give it a little bit. Yeah. I have last the most geluid from the world heard. That is a verlaten door eiland geluid. Oh, Oké, okay. en dat klinkt als? Uh, ja, kermen staal een beetje. Okay. Want staal is niet dood, hè? Oh. Nee, zo'n constructie die piept en die kraakt en dat is gewoon super leuk. <coughs> nou, een fietsje geen kwartier op. They work in the same lines as I told you to. You have two kids, So I get on the running again. Every time finding the way the hair falls and flows over the skull. Take the fine part of my comb again. Set the scissoring on the fall of the skull. First, get in some slice techniques to get 
the thickness of her hair off. And do this slice cutting, so I close my sizzle while I slice. Come on, add part of the ears. Work till I get on the slicing part. Eigenlijk is het heel mooi om met mijn kamerschaar te doen. Het is heel mooi om met mijn kamerschaar te doen. Kamerschaar? Nee, dit is gewoon een hekel om knippen met een kam en een schaar. Oh, oké, ja, ik heb het. Also this side. Also on this side I hold a soft side beard. So no hard lines. Small hairs on the line behind the ears. I take off with the scissor, but I can also take this off with the clipper. Shape the contour line. And now I can go to the upper hair. Going to the upper hair. Turn a little bit now. The other side. Yeah, a little bit. So it's done. Start on the back where I started my slice techniques. Go in with a point cut technique. I start on the fall. Of the hairs in the natural lines. Take off about oh, a centimeter, one and a half, and connect them to the lines I already created by slicing. The front she wants to leave a little bit longer, but let us show you in a second. Travel over the back onto the running of the skull. Go to the center again, go in with the point cut technique. Travel over to the other side. Lay the hair down, go in with the slice techniques. And only work to get on the center of the photo now. Do the same on the other side. That full of yarn thicker is, eh? So it's like a whole thicker stick instead of that. Shake it so you can see what I did. Wet the front again. You see, the front is already longer. She's sweating a bit. She's not. She's drowning. Turn her so you can see what I'm doing. Take the hands over to the back. Go in with a point cut. Lay them to the front again. And watch at the angle of my car. Take only away the dry ends. Do this on both sides. So we do this side. Lay the hairs over. Go in. Create that angle again. And connect the back to the front and the front to the back. Now I didn't take off much of the length on the front. Watch the hairs. Watch the dry ends. You can see them because they are a little bit lighter. Take them away with the slice technique. Gently slicing. So 
Now I come to the contour line again. Take a small comb, fine. Set it on the ear line. Get rid of all the small hairs you don't need. I don't, don't make a hard line now because I want softness into this line. And those parts who are hard to do with a comb and a scissor, that part you do with a small clipper. Go in and the next will follow the contour. She has now a standby button in the, in the neckline. So stay away of that, but take away the small hairs. Use the natural shapes. Again, go on the part above the ear. Give a nice soft contour line. Get rid of all the small hairs. Clean this and I can dry your hair. Look, look at the gels, that's how it's in here. Yeah, what's that? Let's have a look. What should we open? No, I'm not going to. Oh. I'm going to Okay, what I'm going to use now is uh, a cold wax. Take a nice gold color. <laughs> Applying this all over my hands. And you shake it over a golden orange color. The nice thing of this uh, color product is that it stays into your hair for one day. So if you wash it one time, it's out of the hair skin. And this product comes in uh, four, five colors. Okay, go blow dry it with uh, this beautiful blow dryer. So far blow drying, clean the contour with my razor blade. Not leaving too hard on the skin. <laughs> this is a new short hairstyle. I thank you for being my model, I thank you for watching. She will certainly turn around. We see each other next video. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to eat this bij. Leuk, die gaan we haar. Thank you. Hi, I'm Daisy. And I will do it short. This is a little Daisy loves short hair. She wants it shorter on the side. Keep the front a little bit longer because uh, it may grow a bit. And I'm gonna use a lot of techniques on her. Will you rondje draaien? She turns around to show you how her hair is now. And normally she's a customer of mine. Thank you all.